my phone is grandpa. <clears throat> Here we go. That's there. Fine. She blows. Okay. So we could okay. So if we take the owl apart, this is this is Owl Lee here. Okay, so we're actually filming this because for those of you listening to this, this part sucks. And so then, if you watch this on video, yeah, you'll see it doesn't. Like take, Can you please narrate, Steve, owl, what's happening? I, I, I've well, up the back. And Mark I'm, is ripping the skin off of this owl. And so then we have here's the owl's body, <laughs> which open it's open it's it's foam rubber in the back. You see, this is not safe for work. And then you can. You could, you could wear the owl's skin like kind of a buffalo bill sort of a Like way. a terrifying and mass these are all mur- owl feathers. murderer. These are all just felt feathers. This is, I do like the, the owl, really. It's cute. And here's the 3D here. camera. Oh the two cameras are there, and there's the power. You know what? It kind of reminds me of like a Disney animatronic. It is quite. You, you see his the... feet stay on the stick, you see. He yeah. has no legs. There's yeah. just feet and a body. And this podcast was meant to be about crafting when we created it. Oh, know? so there you go. We're sticking so with we're the So we're finally theme doing something bit. actually crafty. So yeah. That's, if, I, if I want to put this yeah. back on, like there's a little frame on the inside here of sort of glasses. Okay. Oh, so that's how you match that, it up. That, that clicks onto that. Oh. And it's all sort of 3D printed. Is it magnetic or anything? No, nah, that's, it... that's like phase two. I, yeah. I could do that. Yeah. But then you see, it's all put together kind of like a blimp in the inside. Yeah, you look know? at that. It's almost like, and almost like a puppet as, as well. Like, wouldn't yeah. you build a puppet like that? I could. I thought about it. I yeah. thought about making the mouth work or something. Yeah. yeah. Giving it a little, like, uh, remote yeah. beak, beak action. Yeah. A little servo action. Uh, like remote beak action is the first time that's been said out loud. I could click his eyes on there. Then I could just sort of push the Velcro together. I kind of liked it when you had the little lens caps on its eyes. It looked like it was sleeping. Oh, yeah. And then we put the <laughs> lens caps on. This is my dual lens cap. Yeah, love that. It's available on my website, actually. For oh, really? Did you 3D print that? Is that oh, your yeah. design Well, there? the caps came with the cameras, but, but you the little, 3D the little, printed little like... yoke that holds them together, Yeah. I 3D printed. That's cool, and then man. then it goes on his eyes like that. I love asleep. that. He looks like he's sleeping. It's real cute. Yeah. And he's like, what? Who has come <laughs> to the realm of the... Oh, I'm so... Would you involve this owl in 3D pornography creation? Uh, Sure. <laughs> Why not? Just Well, I think you just put the owl wherever the, the porn is taking place. Yeah, and yeah. will just get the whole thing. But it's like some people don't like animals watching them when they're when they're making love. I can't imagine that. <laughs> All right. So, so now I think we'll thank you. Thank you, Steve. For yes, that there, of course. Steve. You're well. You're welcome. Thank you for this little mini mini vlog portion. I expect a credit as a filmographer, as a, a DP of this video. You got it.